Hi Poké fans, we have a new Terrorid Battle event that is currently live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This event has Slitherwings appearing in 5 star Terrorid Battle for Pokemon Scarlet and Iamont appearing in 5 star Terrorid Battles in Pokemon Violet with players able to participate in other raids online. This event runs until September 24th so you do have around 2 days to go ahead and get this Pokemon. Discuss on the moveset. Um, firstly, the wing we have superpower, first impression, fire blitz, and heavy slam, with additional move being sunny day and stun spur. It does use sunny day on the first turn to go ahead and I guess boost up its moveset. It also has the chance of having hidden ability, so if you do want to catch one with that, go ahead and try to defeat as many as possible. If you're also playing the DLC, then this is a really good Pokemon to add to your team as well. But of course, you'll be only able to find this one in Scarlet. As for Iron Moth, here is the moveset. It has Energy Ball, Overheat, Sludge Wave and Acid Spray, with additional move being Electric Terrain and Screech. It does likes to use Electric Terrain in the first turn and also can be found both in Standard Shiny Rate as well as a Random Terror type. But of course, this is only found in Pokemon Violet. As far as I've seen, both of these Pokemons are fairly easy to catch, especially since they are a 5-star terrain. As long as you have a Pokemon that is around level 75 or higher, you'll be easily able to defeat it. Right here, I'm using my Chandelure, which I have been using in my DLC uh, to take this Pokemon down. By the way, if you are interested in the DLC and would like to see some videos on that, do check out my channel i have uploaded a couple of videos i think i'm almost at the end of the dlc storyline i would also recommend hosting these battles as you do get more rewards for defeating these pokemons um, which i'll be quickly going ahead and sharing pretty soon let me go ahead and defeat this little wing all right there we go uh, it is defeated this one was fairly easy especially since it was a bug type but let me quickly go ahead and catch it. I chose a Pokeball as it does match its coloring scheme. But let's see if we do catch it. There we go. So let me go ahead and share out its rewards right here on screen. Here's all the base rewards as well as the random item drops that you will be able to get if you do try to catch Slitherwing. I also quickly went into my Violet version of the game and here we are. Here is Iron Moth. This time it is actually a Steel Terror type. So I'm quickly gonna go ahead and defeat it. Um, I did actually go ahead and choose one of my team members. This is War Corona and I did actually use it in one of my Nuzlocke challenges. If you're interested in that, I'll go ahead and put up a link right here. So you can go ahead and check it out as well. Anyway, this one was fairly easy. Uh, once again, we just have to go ahead and defeat it in a couple of turns. I usually feel that this is an easier way to find Pokemons with hidden ability. Anyway, let me go ahead and defeat it. There we go. I think I need another turn, but ooh, never mind. It is down right now. We also get some really good rewards for defeating this one. So I'll go ahead and put up all the rewards right here on screen. Here is all of the rewards for it. I think the random drops are pretty good for both of these Pokemons. Especially if you are trying to find a specific Terra type shards. In this case, that is what I'm doing. I'm hoping to collect a couple more, so I will definitely be defeating a lot. And I would definitely recommend hosting these battles to get more rewards. Anyway, just a reminder, this is available until September 24th. So if you're interested, go ahead and battle these Pokemons. Anyway, that's all I had for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please put a like and if you haven't, please consider subscribing to my channel as it does help me a lot. If you'd like to support me more in a personal way, check out the links in my description and I'll see you guys in the next one.